they split ways, and then Pork Chops became the king of all. Okay, so now we have... I'm, up, I'm updating the thing. We are updating. So port 3 is Stockholm Syndrome, port 4 is Mesa. Yep, there you go. And this is Loser's Final. Does Mesa always go Sheik now? Uh, he's been doing Sheik all day. He plays like every character, so I don't know who he really mains anymore. I guess his new main is Sheik. Although I like his Falco a lot. But I can see why you wouldn't want to do that right now. If you're more comfortable with uh, with your best character, then do it. Uh, what? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And he's just all oh, that umbrella. Just <laughs> there you go. Yeah, the Mary Poppins didn't save you. Let's see. Now Ooh. I'm now being a chic player and having played Stockholm Syndrome, I got bodied. Yeah. But I'm I literally he was literally like the first beach Ooh, I bomb. played. And so we got it. Oh, he just threw oh, it away. He just threw it away. Yeah. That's actually smart. Yes, it when is. he has invincibility because you can actually just go up and hit it and it'll blow up right in their hands. That is true. Yeah. Now, if he didn't have an invincibility, would he have kept it, do you think? Well, it depends Probably. on the percentage though. Right, yeah, it does depend on the percentage. Because if he as just well. holds that, he can't touch you because then they uh, then they both get hit. Well, Yeah. If she were at a higher percentage, then if he hit him, they would have both died, possibly, or he would have just died. Which you know, that's a that's a bad situation. RNG is crazy. Yeah. Uh, oh wow! The reverse forward air actually does it, and yeah. he just goes off. I think that's a pivotal skill you need as a sheep. Yeah. Yeah, man. The reverse just... forward air. Yeah. Oh, look. and the needle grab. Yes. That's such a good option. Your whole back it. acupuncture. <laughs> Oh my god. And then oh. he likes to do those. Uh, there are a lot of peaches that like to do the little twinkle toe nares. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you watch Armada, he just doesn't even go for them ever. Are you saying twinkle toes for down air? Yes. Did you mean that? Yeah, yeah. 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 I figured you. I figured that was that could be figured out on context. I'm good. Well, it's I good just want to make it clear for Right, you. right, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I had a sleepy, <laughs> a sleepy turn up. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a thing about Peach is that if you float at a certain height, you can't get F-tilted, and Stockholm was very good at finding that height. Mm. And that was, I don't think, I think he, uh, he meant to jump before that back air, but that back air still does it anyway. If I were to guess, that height would be standing Sheik, and then just the head of Sheik above that. Yeah, mm -hmm. just flirting with uh, the range. Oh, uh, yeah, that's the kind of Armada things. But, like, Armada right. gets, like, four more things after yeah. that. Okay. That's a Matty that, thing. That's, like, I'm the, just going to sit here and then... Uh, yeah, he's doing the thing you're supposed to do in the Sheik matchup is just... is just crouch cancel. Yeah? Without, yeah. Get, without getting grabbed, of course. Well, yeah, I mean, that's, she that's doesn't have a chain thrower on Peach, does she? No, she doesn't. Yeah. Peach is too floaty. So is this, like, a even or bad matchup for Sheik? I'm actually not quite sure. I'm too. I'm not good enough to really have an opinion on that. But um, I mean, I think Plups is. Plups. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, uh, two princesses going at it. Uh, but it's the ninja again. Oh, and your Kula got burned. I think uh, Plup is still on the chat. He can probably give us some insight on. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot Plup was yeah. here. Yeah, he's probably like. And who's a better Sheik than Plup? Uh, uh Mitsuke. nobody. Nobody. You don't think Mitsuki is a better uh, Sheik? I just plops the best. <laughs> plops the best. You don't even need to. All right. I see how it is. We'll talk about it. Also. So they're <laughs> saying it's 55-45 chic. Oh, that's super. Oh, look at that exhale from. Mesa. And anyway, Mesa proving that he's actually he's actually proving that it is in Sheik's favor. Not by much, but it is in Sheik's favor. All right. All right, and they're going to Dreamland, the classic floaty counter pick. This commentating is, uh, thing is fun. It I is like fun. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god, it's 1 a.m. Jeez. Are we running late today? Oh yeah, because we had a, the we had, battle. We had draft crews today. That'll be on VODs later, probably. Yep, yep, yep. You guys can watch that. It was a it was a pretty good time. Yeah, man, it was like eight crews. Yeah, we had uh, every PR. We had eight PR members were the captains. No problem. And they. Prof was there, yeah. but we had. Uh, but Smiles eight. was here today, which is crazy because he's almost never here anymore. Mm -hmm. Oh man, Mesa is getting tricky right now. Or maybe yeah. is it that or Stockholm Syndrome is? Well, I think they're at the point where they they just know what they're about to do, and Mesa's a little bit yeah. ahead. Oh, but then he didn't know that was gonna happen for some reason. Now Stockholm Syndrome finally able to get a hit in there. Sometimes when you Eddie. get too comfortable, your hands just start moving. Yeah. And then you know in your head that like there's gonna be a dance match coming, but I'm I'm moving my hand to make myself jump, and that's the horrible yeah. thing to do. 
Oh, okay. People in chat are questioning your existence. Who? Sarah, I'm not convinced you're a real person. Why? <laughs> that's a strange assertion right yeah, there, my a, friend. That's what? a... Why? That you, need, you need to see my face in order to think I'm real? This is just a... <laughs> that was a strange leap to make, but anywho. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just, I, I mean, I'm not going to call you out because I don't think anything's real, really. That's cool. Yeah, nothing is real. Well, I, you, I, think every, I think everything is real and fake at the same time. Like, dude, that's so deep. Because the thing is that, uh, what's it called? Your mind has thoughts and those thoughts have weight because everything has to exist in a certain way. So... They are just electrical impulses. Exactly. But I they, mean, I don't think... Well, with enough energy, if mass equals, if you can create energy for mass, mm -hmm. you can create mass from energy. Exactly. Right? Yeah. We of just course. don't know how to yet. Yeah. Uh, but, but like at the same time, uh, like I don't think we'll ever figure out in a in a third dimensional sense because that's the wrong way to think about it. I feel like everything that we think is magic it actually exists in a different dimension, and anything in your dreams is just real. Uh, but like, I don't know. I think this is a little too much. <laughs> This is a this is a little too much. All right, let's go back to our ninja versus princess fight on on Dreamland. Oh, he wait, how did, does that that works? He just down throw re grabbed. That works on Sheik? It probably doesn't, or maybe it's a specific thing. I I, I, I was looking at the chat honestly, but yeah. like uh, now I'm looking back at the thing. Oh man. So what are you saying next? Uh, that uh. Peach down through and then re-grab? Yes, is it? Because usually she up throw re-grabs on Fox, obviously. I mean, there's so many things that go into the into the into the play. Like I, I maybe he just expected to get hit by something else, and then he just prepared to di, but then he didn't do anything, and then he got re-grabbed because of like thinking too much. Well, maybe his hands got uh, got I, like kind of sweaty. I don't know. <laughs> well. I think you're getting way too into it. It's a bit but, too late. No, but that's really what's uh, uh, what's going on. That's the way I feel like when I'm playing this game. It's just like there's too many things that go on. It's just like life or death situations just happening through my controller. Yeah, but it was just bad DI. Is what it really comes down to. Oh, uh, that's what you're saying. Yeah. But how do you like from a down throw? How do you uh, how do you DI uh, and then mess that up? Like he, he DI'd in, and then if you DI in, you can re grab. He's just so slow, though. Like, he didn't go anywhere? Nope. He mm. was, like I said, I was surprised. Interesting. But anywho, Interesting. it's getting a lot more even after Mesa was having a commanding first stock. I think he's having a hard time killing him, and then that's just icing him down. Yeah, Sheik has, well, at least in, uh, Sheik has uh, sometimes a hard time killing. Uh, yeah. Not usually. I mean, it's Dreamland. It is Dreamland, and anyway. And a low percent snare is actually uh, better to follow up on. Like if you're if you're down throwing someone from zero, I, I usually like to nair as well because they can kind of just take the fair and then respond. I see what you're saying. Just reset them and then because it just doesn't have enough at a low percent, it doesn't have enough knockback to do anything. Stockholm Syndrome was just there shielding on the platform when he didn't really have to, but you know, yeah, he was already in shield and he wasn't sure what was gonna yeah. happen next. Oh, oh! I see what you mean by the Z drops. They are very yeah. nice. Yeah, they are. I mean, grab, grab ledge Z drop. That covers a lot of options. Yeah, but the thing is that Sheik has such uh, has a lot more uh, mobility in the air, I think, than uh, than Marth. Well, no, not the drift though. But I, I, it's just like the up B and all that. You can just curve around it. You're dead. Okay, so did you put two on Mesa preemptively because you thought that was gonna happen? Uh, no, someone said score's wrong, isn't it? And then I was like, wait, am I am I stupid? Mm -hmm. But anyway, they're going back to Yoshi's, it's even. Now, Mesa didn't do very well against Pork Chops on Yoshi's, but this is, of course, a very different matchup, and it very well favors Sheik on this map, being able to... Because as we saw in the last game... Don't you think those down smashes are a big deal, though? They are. Yeah. Just don't get... Just don't DI down, uh, you won't get blendered. But that, uh... The twinkle toes nair ends up killing. I just feel early. like because Sheik, he, she's trying to get in with a grab or like a dash attack, mm -hmm. which is the dumb thing to do because then she's uh, Peach is just gonna uh, crash cancel and then down smash. Yeah. So this is seems like a tough matchup. You kind of have to bait out a lot of things. Maybe yeah. Camp with the, ne the neutral, you can't play as aggressively as you can in other matchups mm -hmm. because Peach is 
probably one of the better characters in the game at just stuffing aggressive approaches. So if you play aggressive, you're just gonna get punished. Yeah, Peach is just a wall. Yeah. She's... there's a reason she's one of the best floaties. Someone told me uh, a, a neat trick about Peach is that the deceptive thing is that her dress makes her look a lot bigger than she really is. Really? Yeah. I, I, I guess her hurt boxes are actually her, not her dress. I, I believe so. I don't know if that guy was just trying to do something to my mind, but like at the same time, that would be a great if that were real, but I don't. it's so hard to not think that though, because that dress is so dangerous, man. But then you have DK who has a hurt box on his tie. Yeah, and then so that doesn't really make sense. And me too. Uh, well, I mean, this game was uh, it was rushed like super hard, as evidenced by Game and Watch being unfinished. Uh, is that unfinished or is that just like I don't know? I guess it is. He unfinished. can't and he can't L cancel half his moves, and then also his shield doesn't even cover him. But you think they left that uh, there not on purpose? That's like a huge. Eh. I don't know. Well, they fixed it in later games. So, okay. There you go. Well, I don't well, know. they fixed everyone's L canceling in later games. That doesn't mean that they didn't do it on purpose, though. They probably just thought, hey, you know what? Maybe we were wrong. I don't know. But people, I don't know. This game's a mystery to me sometimes. I just don't understand what was actually intended or not. Yeah. But nor do I care. Sometimes just... people give it too much credit, and sometimes people don't give it enough credit. So, uh, just... some people were like, oh, melee is perfect. It's like. Oh, uh, this guy's telling me that he was just uh, uh, starring me because he can't say bad words on the stream. <laughs> Uh, G uh, uh, Game Watch does have potential. I love G uh, uh, Game Watch, man. Yeah. Have you seen Alex 19's Game and Watch? Uh, isn't that just an SD Remix though? He has an no. Actual... He um, the reason he played it in SD Remix was because he has an actually sick G Game and Watch in Melee. I think he should. That should be his new thing, so he can get even more noticed than not just be like Mango's like. Uh... He still is me on top 100 and PR in SoCal. Hmm. So he definitely. I guess he doesn't need it then. Yeah. He has he he has he has like this this great uh, personality that like it just yeah. draws people in, which is his thing too. Mm -hmm. I've actually heard some people say that Game and Watch is 50-50 against Puff. Against Puff. Uh, based no. on what? I'm not sure. I've just that for some reason because low tiers aren't played as much, they like. What's the? They just don't explore the matchups as much, but Game and Watch is actually pretty okay against Puff. I don't understand how if Marth is uh, like, what's Marth uh, against Puff? Because then like, there's a reason people don't go uh, that much against uh, Marth against Puff. I think because her rest setups are too easy. Oh, is that what it is? So then Game and Watch doesn't have an easy rest setup. Yeah. Mm. Or if she may have a rest, maybe his punish game is different. I don't know. It's just like Game Watch is alone. Oh, Randall! Uh, what, Randall the oh. homie! Okay, we're good, we're good. Randall oh, oh, is the best. Oh, oh, oh no. he, cr he crouch canceled, yeah. and he got slid off, and he dared and died. That sucks. Maybe down smash was trying to happen. Okay, oh, no. Okay. Oh, he's able to mash out of that grab, especially at that low percent. You can't really rely on pummeling too much. Uh, what? Oh, no! The f Wait a minute. He, uh, that was a... If that wasn't a phantom, he would have survived. Well, but it was. That's but the... it was. Yeah. So that was the most godlike phantom of all time. <laughs> is so what I'm good. saying. I'm and so... did you just see the down smashes three in a row there? Yeah. That's bad. 56%. Yeah, that's... Why are we back on the stage? I don't know. <laughs> well, I guess it it's, it's his best chance at winning. He's clearly showing that... Maybe Massa should have like switched to a different character, but then that's giving up. Oh, the, the Toad. Do you think that was? Do you think that was on purpose? Yeah. No, I don't know. I mean, at, like, at a, at a there's point, really no way of knowing. There's no right or wrong answer, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Oh, neutralized it. Ooh. Ooh. Guess Every what? Sheik main ever loves those. Yeah, the backward. Not even just fair coming back on stage. It's so quick that it doesn't even mess with your recovery. So. Just you don't see a lot of top level oh. cheeks doing it, uh -huh. but at the mid or low level, that fair coming into the stage is freaking incredible. It is incredible. It catches so many people off guard. Yeah. Aggressive foxes trying to get out, uh, get out. Yeah. Uh, and you're dead. Yeah. There you go. Stockholm Syndrome takes a three one, and Respectful I believe he's answer. going to loser side of grands towards pork chops, where we will see the classic. Wait, what are you saying? Pork chops is in losers now? No, oh. pork chops is on winner side of grands. Okay, good, good, good. And Stockholm is on loser side of grants. Uh huh. Okay, so grand finals are happening. Yeah. And we will see it's a Peach Falco. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Has this happened before? Stockholm Syndrome made it all the way to grand finals? 
Uh, well, last, I'm not exactly sure. I haven't been here long enough or paid attention to Grand Finals That's amazing. Much. But last week, it was Porkchops versus Blea, and Blea won. Not to discredit Stockholm Syndrome. I'm, yeah. just, uh, I'm just saying that, like, I didn't think, uh, like, you would make the Grand Finals. That's amazing. Right. This is really good. I like this. I want to see new players get to the top. Oh, yeah, and the Blea won last time. And, uh, April Shaw, the, uh, the player on the top is the Peach. Which is Stockholm Syndrome. Mm -hmm. Stockholm Syndrome. And then on the bottom will be pork chops, but you won't be able to see him anyway. <laughs> You'll see yes, there is a faint echo. There's yeah. not really much we can do about it. Yeah. It's due to the acoustics in the room and the people not wanting us to touch the mixer. Yeah, there's a mixer here with like 50 different dials. That's not even an exaggeration. I'm thinking there's actually 50 dials. Well, I think and it's supposed to be that one that we're touching, but I don't really want to touch it right now. Cause yeah, it's just not even. Yeah. Because then if we do something wrong with it, then there's, oh, jeez. I don't know. No. <laughs> I, I'm kind of liking the echo now. It's funny. It's like uh, another world. Effect. I'm assuming Port Chops is going to take Port Priority, so I'm going to put him in Port 1. Is that, is, does he really do that? I never noticed. Well, why wouldn't you take port priority? I don't know. It's just I didn't think I don't. I wasn't aware of how many people actually cared. Well, most people don't. Yeah. I mean, are, are you saying you've seen him do that specifically? I don't know, but like, why would he pick fourth port out of all of them? He has all the choices. Why would he pick fourth port in this case? But would he be thinking about it? I think you're thinking too much into this. What? But you're thinking too much about it. I'm just saying. There's a <laughs> well. Anyway, there's a there's a 66.67 percent chance that he picks a higher port than Stockholm Syndrome. So I'm gonna bank bank on that. Okay. 